The benefits to society include a 29% reduction in carbon emissions from solar energy from 2005 to 2018, and uh, lower uh, other emissions, uh, carbon monoxide, carbon uh, uh, sulfur dioxide, noxious, nox, noxious um, oxides, uh, and things like that. Uh, regulators are open to modifying the regulatory bar, but they're looking for ideas. I'll bet you that would be the same if I interviewed the board of directors of the public power district. I'm going to guess they're interested in new things, but are probably looking for, I don't mean this in the negative, that they, they don't, they're not leaders themselves, but this is a business where you really have to look at national and worldwide trends, something which our project is hoping to do. Uh, the commissioners don't particularly like the adversarial process that they're locked into. Uh, again, these are commissioner things, so I'm not going to uh, spend any more time on those. Uh, the last slide of today is what I call a paper that I wrote, which combines the two things I've talked about today. Uh, Risk-aware planning, and you can that's the book that you have. You can read a short form of that. It's actually got some slightly different material in it, but pretty much the same thing. And a new model for the utility regulator, uh, regulator relationship, that's that second half of the utilities 2020. That's available online at electricitypolicy.com. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's free. If for some reason that isn't uh, easily available to you, uh, first of all, I will give a copy to Senator Carr, so you will definitely have that if you want to get hold of him, or you can email me. So I'm going to stop there. I've got a couple more conclusion slides, but it would be repetitive of what I've talked about. And I'm at about the time I'd like to stop and uh, be really happy to talk with you with the questions you have. Well, first of all, thank you. And we're going to have a lot of Q&A time here. So um, my intention is to bring Ron back um, in a month or two uh, set him at a round table with people from our utilities and, and continue this discussion. Um, so I get to ask the first question, and then we'll leave it up to you. Says who? <laughs> I know. I know. I bought this microphone. I've heard that one before. <laughs> okay. So I'd like to, one of the questions that often comes up is, um, Gee, Nebraska is number three in wind potential in the United States, number three, but we're down in the 20s in terms of utilizing it. Uh, but the wind doesn't always blow. So how do you integrate wind and, you know, from your experience in Colorado and so on? And then I'll let you handle the other questions. Sure. Um, in 2004, Colorado passed on the ballot the first, uh, first actually in the country, renewable portfolio standard, 10% by 2020, from, by the utility, on the back of the folks. Uh, Excel Energy spent millions of dollars trying to defeat that ballot initiative. They lost. They were very vocal in their opposition to it. Within two years, they had turned on a dime and become advocates for the very policies that they opposed on the ballot. The legislature then doubled it from 10% to 20% in 2007, and then increased it from 20% to 30% in 2010. That's the history of RPS in Colorado. So Excel went from very little, almost no, they had a little bit of wind in 2004 um, when that first ballot measure passed. They went from that to being the largest wind producer in the country over the next seven years. So by 2011, uh, between Minnesota and Colorado and some in Wisconsin and some in Texas, Excel is the largest wind producer. So they have had to learn how to run their system with copious amounts of uh, variable energy like wind. The wind in Colorado is probably, uh, it's probably as good as the wind in Nebraska in terms of capacity factor. Here and there we have much better spots than anybody in the country probably, but mostly your state's got great resources everywhere. That's my reading of it. Um, but the trick is to run your, to engineer and run your system so that you can do this. Now, it, it's, it's actually a very complicated procedure that takes 
rooms full of operating engineers to do, but they basically learned how to do it. They learned how to predict wind better, so they know when, it's, when the ramps are coming, so they can gear up for that. They built gas uh, plants uh, that are more uh, natural gas generation, generating plants, which are more easily ramped up and down than coal units. They, they use those. They change the way in which they run their pump storage facility, which used to basically just be used to pump water uphill during the night and run it through the generators during the day, and that's all they did with it. But now they use it for balancing. They actually use it for load following, something they didn't do before. On and on and on it goes. Bottom line, Excel is, um, I think, masterfully learned how to balance a system, and they're not the only ones. I mean, there's, there's utilities, lots of places which are doing this, but they're very good at it. I've toured their uh, control room several times, and I've talked to their engineers, and you know, it's a challenge to the engineers, but what, what would engineers be without challenges, right? And that's, you want to feed them challenges. So they figured it out, they've become very good at it, and, and just to give you a sense of how much wind they have now available, there are going to be two hours, I think it's October of 2011, in which the wind on their system was 56% of the energy being produced in that hour. Okay? They, they had gotten that good. And this is a reliable operation. This isn't skating on the edge. This is actually meets all of the NERC requirements for spinning reserve and all kinds of things like that. They've got all that figured out. So, uh, what you, if you want to add wind, you have to be resolute about it. You have to basically put it into your plan. So the next fossil plant you build should be of a type that can match up well with the wind resources, or for that matter, with the solar resources, which you'll have some 